your credit history, your Windows PC, and even your DNA could be at risk. And yes, that's just this week in cyber. Guys, stick with me. For the next seven minutes, we'll break down the week's biggest cyber shocks, what they mean for you, and how to stay one step ahead. First of all, Vietnam's National Credit Bureau breach probe. First up, a serious scare from Vietnam. The country's National Credit Information Center is being investigated after signs of a suspected cyber attack. Officials haven't confirmed what data may have been accessed, but investigators suspect it could be the work of the Shiny Hunters group. Yes, the same crew known for stealing millions of user records from companies worldwide. This is Central Hub that stores Vietnamese citizens' credit histories, basically the credit score backbone for banks and lenders. Right now, systems are still running, but authorities are scrambling to figure out how deep the breach goes. Why does it matter? Well, even if you don't live in Vietnam, this is another reminder of how attacks on financial data can ripple through an entire economy. If the National Credit Bureau can be hit, so can be the systems that decide if you get approved for a loan or mortgage. Second news headline is Microsoft Patch Tuesday. They have released 81 fixes and two zero days. So Microsoft just dropped its September Patch Tuesday bundle, which consists of 81 security flaws that have been fixed, including nine marked critical and two actively exploited zero days. So here's the breakdown, guys. CV 2025-36792 is a Windows common log file system elevation of privilege bug. Attackers can use this to jump from a normal user account to full system control. And then CV 2025-38023 is a Microsoft Edge smart screen bypass. that lets attackers trick users into running malware without actually triggering security warnings. This means hackers could slip past your defenses or get admin level access if you're unpatched. The critical bugs also cover Windows, TCP, IP, Azure Kubernetes Service, and Visual Studio. So it's not just desktops at risk. Cloud workloads are in a blast radius too. Now, why does it matter? Well, zero days mean that bad guys are already know about these flaws and may be using them right now. So if your PC hasn't been updated yet, it's like leaving your front door wide open overnight. Now, CISA drops 14 industrial control system advisories. So Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency has just released 14 new advisories for vulnerabilities in industrial control systems, the tech you know, that runs everything from water treatment plants to assembly lines. A few of the standouts include Siemens Sematic S7 PLCs, so multiple floors that allow remote code execution. Rockwell Automation Factory Talk View, a privilege escalation bug that could let attackers disrupt plant operations, and Aviva A Edge HMI, which is essentially insecure default credentials that could give attackers full access to the operator panels. Now, these systems rarely get patched quickly, yet they control physical infrastructure, and attacker could cause real-world damage. Think blackouts, chemical spills, or production line shutdowns. If it runs a plant, moves cargo, or keeps the lights on, it needs patching and segmentation, not just a sticky note saying, don't touch, it's stable. And last but not least is Sonic Wall VPN risks and ransomware search. So finally, SonicWall SSL VPN appliances are back in the spotlight after researchers warned of widespread exploitation of old or unpatched versions. This comes alongside fresh data showing that ransomware crews are increasingly hitting manufacturing and transport companies, sectors that rely on always-on networks and often can't afford downtime. Old VPNs are often still left exposed to the internet, and attackers love them because they offer direct access behind the firewall. Now, for everyday users, these are often the same small business firewalls people use to work from home. For companies, it's a reminder that if your remote access tech is older than your intern, it's time to move to zero trust and enforce phishing-resistant MFA. 
Now, let's zoom in in the Microsoft Patch Tuesday drop. Here's the thing, 81 floors sounds like a wall of numbers, but here's what matters. None of them, nine of them are rated critical, meaning they can give access essentially to attackers, full remote access. Two of them are zero days, which means hackers already know about them and may be using them right now. The riskiest are in Windows core components and Microsoft Edge, which are almost certainly on your device. So what should you do? Well, first of all, run Windows update this weekend. Yes, even if it takes forever. Patch internet facing systems first, then move to endpoints with admin or finance users, then legacy systems and labs. Use this chance to test your patching process. If your org struggles to patch in under 10 days, you're flying without a seatbelt. Now, let's make it real world. The Vietnam breach. Watch your bank statements. If you see audit credit, audit credit activity, ask your bank for fraud alert or credit freeze. They're usually free and save headaches later. Now, Microsoft patches, reboot your PC, your kid's gaming laptop, your grandma's dusty desktop, anything running Windows. Sonic wall VPN issues, if you work from home on a small business router or firewall, log into, into its admin panel and check for updates. If the, firm is, if the firmware from 2022, yikes, guys. And then 23andMe settlement. Oh yeah, one more big one. They're pushing for a 50 million payout over their 2023 breach. If you use the genetic testing site, now is a good time to revisit privacy settings or even delete your data. Now, the most important thing is cyber isn't just IT stuff. It's your credit, your commute, your family photos, and even your DNA. So a few tips for the cyber pros. Prioritize your Microsoft September patches. Close those zero days, especially on anything internet exposed. Apply the SAP September critical fixes. Coordinate with basis systems, but don't let change freeze be an excuse. Or did any Sonic Wall SSL VPNs or any other legacy VPNs plan to migrate to zero trust network appliances and enforce phishing resistant MFA? Review the 14 CISA IECS advisories against your asset list. If it runs a plant, segment it and lock it down remote access. And as a regulatory winds shift, especially with US senators probing Microsoft security defaults. Scrub out the weak crypto, you know, stuff like RC4, MD5, TLS 1.0, before an auditor finds it for you. Now guys, that's your cyber week in roughly seven minutes. A credit bureau breach, 81 Microsoft floors patched, OT systems on alert, ransomware knocking on factory doors, and even your DNA data making headlines again. So guys, drop a comment, which story should we deep dive next week? And hit follow so you don't miss the next Coffee Break Cyber Recap. Guys, stay safe, stay patched. And remember, you don't have to be paranoid, just prepared.